great win um, over a really good football team. So much respect for Oklahoma State and for Coach Gundy. Um, we knew it was going to be a four-quarter battle. We knew it was going to be hard. And um, proud of our team, proud of our leaders, proud of, of the guys for not, not only responding to the adversity we had, but responding to each other. And we had some coaches challenge some people. We had some players challenge people. Um, and the biggest challenge was basically when we play together and play all in and pound the stone one play at a time and not worry about what happened before, what could happen next, what could happen in a month, what could happen at any time, we have a chance to be a pretty good football team. And so um, hats off to our to our seniors that um, and, and our captains and older guys, that uh, and Avery's an older guy now, he is, um, for challenging each other to, to be our best. And so we beat a good football team, uh, and um, we're going to enjoy it as we have this week off. Chris, how much maturity do you think Avery showed to uh, throw an interception and then come back and play pretty much the same? Yeah, um, and that doesn't really get to him. Kellis, I know it wasn't a good play uh, on his part, but it, the probably the great thing about it is it doesn't get to him. He doesn't let it eat him up for the next series or the next series. Uh, on Thursday, Wellesley and I talked about this. He may have been like 32 of 35 on Thursday. And I grabbed him on Friday morning and I said, that's as on point as I've seen you in a practice. And it was um, really good throws in tight windows. And so I see a guy that's gaining a lot of confidence. And so we were going to be more aggressive, especially on some early downs. And uh, I thought he really delivered today. You know, <laughs> um, I know there's only one ball. And we wanted to get it to everybody. But when 31's got it in his hands, guys, He's pretty dang good. And um, we, we talk about uh, all, all of our guys uh, having a role. The kid's got a big role. And um, I think he hears things, and, and he wants to prove a point as well. And um, uh, DJ Giddens is a great football player, and we made a check on his 66-yard run. It was a run, different run play. Credit to Coach Riley. Riles changed the play at the line of scrimmage. Avery helped him. He changed it, and we got him one on one with the safety, and he made him miss and scored. And and uh, uh, really pleased with how DJ played. You sound like my athletic director now. <laughs> Gosh, dang it! You two in cahoots on stuff or what? Um, we were ready to roll, and then we had the pass interference, and I didn't see it. It was a play that we scored on them in 2022, and we tried to replicate it, and they called us for PI. Don't have a clue if it was or wasn't. doesn't matter. When we got all the way backed up, it was, okay, let's try to pop a run, and if we couldn't pop a run, let's punt the football and play to the second half. And, and we were up 21 to 13. It would have been great to go up another score there. Um, but uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we didn't make any mistakes. When you guys were up or down 13 to 10 to 7, you hold uh, Oklahoma State to field a lot for turnover and go back and score. Do you feel like that was a big turning point? Yeah. Game? Yeah. That, it was a huge turning point that we turned it over and didn't give up a touchdown, which we had the previous week. Uh, and we kept it that one score game. Uh, credit to the defense and Coach Klanderman for um, finding a way to get a stop there. And to our guys of, you know what, we got to play better than we did last week in the red zone. Uh, and then we get a couple of big plays. They have the penalty. Uh, we get in a formation that uh, we thought they were going to have a hard time aligning to. Avery does a nice job buying some time and hitting uh, Oakley uh, on the big touchdown to go up 14-13. And then uh, I think we got the ball back. We struggled to get these guys to punt it in the first half for sure. We got the ball back, and we knew they were in man coverage. And uh, I think they had some miscommunication, and Jace gets behind them for a 55-yarder. And that was that was critical at that time to, um, to go up 21-13 with a couple big plays. Um, we played better in the second half. Give give those guys credit. Um, there's a lot of 
good play calling. And when you're trying to get everybody up there to defend Ollie Gordon, there's going to be some holes and some windows. And I, I'm so proud of our, our defensive backs, especially those corners and Siegel that are in man coverage all day on six foot four guys. And I just kept telling Jacob, just keep competing, keep competing. Okay, he gets a holding call. Big deal. Keep competing. He makes some tackles. And that might be the best interception I've seen. Uh, and he flipped his eyes back around and made a play on a ball, and it was a true 50-50 ball against a, a guy that's got him by about six inches. Uh, that was a critical play. So uh, pleased with how our, our DBs complete, competed. How have you seen Avery continue to improve? It's just a, a drop-back catch. I mean, it's drop-back, say, but just the, the yep. straight. Yeah, just the five-step game, yeah. It, it, it's – a, getting some different formations and the guys running really good routes and him seeing the field. Um, every rep you get, you know, you can go back to uh, the guys I had at NDSU with Easton Stick and Carson and and uh, then you see even with Skyler and stuff and Will. The more reps you have, the more pictures you see, the more comfortable you feel pre-snap and post-snap. And uh, uh, once again, I, I know this the sky's the limit for Avery, and he's playing better football. Um, and he's the more reps he gets, the more pictures he fe he sees, he's going to be a, a, and, and already is a really good player and really good thrower. But he's gaining that confidence right now. Really pleased in, in the fact that um, we we were throwing the ball on some early downs. Um, which was good, and then getting him in a little bit of man coverage and then creasing him with a few runs. Um, and I, I thought the plan was really good. Uh, they, they've got really good kids on defense, and so we had to we had to try to make sure that number nine wasn't going to wreck the game in the run game. And so we had to try to get him out of the box a little bit um, so he wouldn't wreck the game because I think he's a terrific football player. And then I thought we, I thought we executed and blocked really well um, at the point of attack with our – O line and tight ends. Any quick thoughts on Parrish and what he did today? Yeah, um, obviously the pick was incredible that he made, and he's just competing his tail off. Um, tackled well, just uh, and then we played a zone one time, and he came and sawed a kid down on a third and nine, um, and we had a pretty good rhythm to ourselves on defense uh, throughout that third quarter to get us a lead. Well, I'm a big believer that field goals don't beat you. And um, last week, uh, that came to fruition because we kicked two field goals. They end up kicking two field goals. And I, I don't know if I'm totally right on this, but I think our four for four red zone were all touchdowns. And that's a big deal if, when you're getting touchdowns down there and, and doing it a lot of different ways, running the ball, throwing the ball, Avery making a couple of really creative plays with his legs. Um, and, and yeah, we, we had. Any game you play, you better win the turnover margin, you better win the explosive play battle, and you better win the red zone efficiency. You guys neutralized Ollie Gordon after the first quarter. He had three yards rushing after the first quarter. Uh, what changed from the first quarter to the rest of the um, I, I thought we hit our fits and didn't run up field more. I, I, th I think we were so – hey, let's get after the quarterback because it looks like play action and stuff, uh, and he can crease you when you do that. And so I thought we um, played a little bit more under control uh, at, up front and, and stayed in our gaps. And I thought we tackled really well because you don't want to get that guy running downhill at you or it's it, you're going to have a headache. And I thought we did a good job of that uh, after those first couple drives. Yeah, um, you know, we, we talk about that all the time. A um, couple things. One, playing in front of the crowd. We got we had a phenomenal home crowd again. And uh, hats off to our crowd for coming to rescue uh, for our guys because that crowd was loud. They were into it. Uh, our guys love playing in front uh, of our home folks. And, um, you know, I, you, you all the little things we talk about, penalties, red zone, all that stuff, you got to be, you have to be successful, uh, and we were tonight against a good team. All right, thank you. Okay, enjoy, everybody.